All right, um, so hey guys, uh, my name is Susan and this is going to be the start of my New York City vlogs. I'm going to New York for um, four months, so right now it's September 1st and I'm going to be going all the way until New Year's. I'm going there for an internship and I'm going to try and vlog the entire time I'm there. This is going to be day zero of the entire trip because I'm still in Calgary, Alberta, which is my hometown. I came back for about three weeks for like a little bit of summer vacation since I was in um, University of Waterloo up until mid-August doing files. So yeah, vlog zero, day zero, is going to be just me gonna go through the airport. Oh, it's also going to be me trying to uh, tidy up this gross room. It's just a huge mess That's that's been kind of lying there for three weeks. I haven't unpacked, I'm like semi-packed, and so I need to unpack first, then I need to tidy up my room, then I need to actually pack for my plane ride tomorrow, which is at 10.30, and it's currently, I think, Nine. So So I've just arrived at the airport, well I've just arrived at the gate, I arrived at the airport about half an hour ago. It's 9am. My flight leaves at 10.30 so I'm just stuck here waiting for about an hour and a half and we'll be on our way. Really? And so then I tried to Google it at work and work wouldn't let me and I was like, Ooh, it's gonna bad. be good, it's gonna be good. That little contraption is definitely more gimmicky, but there's a reason that all three bikes are pointed towards the center and I think it's just because you get to meet a lot of different people at the airport and that's just one way to start a conversation with them more of a social thing than an actual utility. I did just have a talk with these guys um, and I just met them at the bike power station and the lady gave me some really good advice. Whenever you go on vacation, go take a picture of this very touristy spot. Always take a picture of yourself with it, a good picture of yourself with it. Because you can Google 
pictures of like the Eiffel Tower, but none of them will have you actually in them. So, life lesson learned. Um, I was hoping you could help me oui. find out. So I want to take this, but I'm not too sure. And then take the L. Okay, is that an additional charge or is it? No, no, as long as you don't go outside the subway station. Oh, okay. As long as though you don't exit the gate. You can okay. make connections. Got it. Okay, cool, thank you. This is day one. I'm officially in New York. I'll see you guys in the morning. I have to feed this guy. This will be bright and early. Okay, so, hey, what's going on? Right now, we are walking through Waverly Place. Try not to get killed by the traffic. And I'm on my way to lunch, so it is about one. But so far, so good. Transit was not that bad. I ended up buying the unlimited 30-day pass just because it seemed like the most worth. And so I'm looking for this place called The Tame. The Tame. Oh, right here. Hey! The what? Who see me? Nice that? You know him? Oh, that guy! Yeah, yeah. You know, I actually, um, I did an activation with him. Oh. I used to work Red Bull with our client, and he was an influencer. This really funny video series. Like, it's like, like Red Bull's YouTube. paying me to do this commercial yeah, with them, but instead exactly. I'm gonna travel the world with the money or something yeah, like yeah. that. Yeah, mm. This company that I'm interested in, Postlight, was yeah. really interested in me. Mm -hmm. We're gonna see right around the corner. There was a new dean. Uh-huh who built this insanely expensive, huge, gross, modern building, and it cost the school literally like millions and millions of dollars. So, they had to strip away the free tuition, and then the dean had to resign. It was very controversial. Like, it has its roots, but... Calgary, you can't really sense anything older than like 50 years. <laughs> trip here in New York and so me and my friend Isabel we went to go to Washington Park then we went to a little cafe where I think we did about three hours of work awkwardly but anyway that was my umbrella oh my god you would not believe okay so I after um, we went to the cafe Isabel had to go meet their partner uh, on in West Village? I'm not too sure. Um, it was pretty far from where we were. So we split up. I went to Muji and bought awesome pens. They were 10% off, like, struggled. Anyway, um, I bought the pens and then I tried to go back to Isabel's apartment um, because we were going to meet up and, you know, make dinner and stuff. But <laughs> the F line was not running on the F line, it was running on the E line, but because I'm new, I have no idea what that means. So I was like, okay, so that's out of service. But no matter how much I tried, Google wouldn't update with the proper um, uh, route information. So I was like, okay, let's look up different ways to do it. Um, so I tried to walk as far as possible for, so that Google could actually recommend me like a different route. And it recommended me an R, uh, one with the R train. And then I was waiting at the stop for the R train forever, but it turns out it was it's the R train's always under construction. So I took the R train north 
up to Union Station and then I had I, I took the N train because I was like oh you know R and they're both the other lines they go they, 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 they go the same way so I took the N train all the way down to somewhere in Brooklyn uh, I took the train down and all the entire time there we didn't stop for like a single moment so I was really really scared we were going to go all the way to Coney Island because like oh my god what if this is an express train like what have I done um, so I got off and stopped as soon as possible but it turns out I got off like one or two stops before I actually was supposed to get off and the express train comes like every 10-15 minutes so it would have been really really late and so then I was like okay Google what do I do now what's the fastest way to get to you know the apartment um, Google recommends me this bus route that doesn't come and it keeps recommending bus routes but they don't come and so I'm like okay fine I'll walk back to the station wait for the train and then um, ride to the station walk 10 minutes thing is it was raining the entire time so I'm soaking wet walking through Brooklyn with my laptop because I'm stupid enough to bring my laptop and uh, no jacket, no umbrella, because I'm soon enough not to bring my umbrella. <laughs> and um, I finally make it to the apartment. But man, was that a journey. I guess I will check in tomorrow. Bye.